Hello and welcome to the Wednesday update for Wednesday, August the 19th of 2020. And thank you to Carmen for suggesting the Beach Boys be true to your school for the theme song this week. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since my last update. Uh, and so there's a lot to say here. Now, despite the physical distance between us, we do remain connected and we're really excited to kickstart the year with our virtual student orientation. So no matter where you will be completing your studies this year, we're thrilled to have cho that you've chosen Concordia and we can't wait to virtually welcome both new and returning students. All students can participate in this student orientation, not only our new first year students. Now, our virtual student orientation begins on August 27 of 2020 and registration is now open. Uh, to register, please go to concordia.ab.ca slash orientation. Uh, you will also have access to more information available on our online orientation Moodle course, which will be available before classes and that you can access at any time. So what can you expect for the fall semester? Well, and well, actually for the orientation for the fall semester. Well, you'll learn all about what you can expect for the semester, including the practical academic and student life opportunities and supports that are going to be available beginning in September. Members of our staff and faculty and fellow students will be available to answer your questions and help you get ready for these exciting first days. You will find out how to get involved and make a difference and explore all that we have to offer despite the challenges presented by the current health pandemic. And you'll meet new people. You'll hopefully make friends and begin building connections that will last throughout your entire time at Concordia. Now, in addition, we are introducing a new initiative to help our first year students successfully transition to post-secondary and to make things a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. And these are called student coaching cohorts. So first year students will be placed in a small group with other students and will meet on a monthly basis with a trained student coach who will help guide you through your first year at Concordia. From forming connections to learning about available resources, our student coaches are here to help you uh, be successful. Uh, so look for an email in from your designated Concordia peer coach with virtual access information to your first student coaching cohort meeting. Now, in other news, uh, parking enforcement uh, will uh, remain in effect and be uh, emphasized after August the 31st. So please, if you're going to be parking on campus, avoid a ticket, avoid being towed by a parking pass, and please be sure to park in your designated spot if you have one. Uh, there are a few things that will uh, be different when you come on campus at Concordia. We are asking people to swipe their identity card on entrance. We're not allowing guests on campus unless they're authorized uh, by administration. So it's really important that you have your identity card with you and you swipe when you come in so that security can let you on to campus. Uh, now our students, our services for students are reopening. The bookstore is now open. So if you ordered online, uh, the bookstore is open between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. You can avoid the rush and you can go and pick up your books. Uh, there are going to be study areas on campus for students. We're going to be having uh, a large number of study areas in our library. They'll probably be bookable spaces there. Uh, so if your facilities at home aren't quite up to your expectations, please feel free to come onto campus and safely engage in uh, study uh, in our library or in other designated areas on campus. Uh, finally, I have to say that as much as I'm a fan of uh, kitchen areas uh, on campus, unfortunately uh, for the fall semester we're going to be closing all kitchen areas. So for employees I ask that you please bring a thermos of coffee uh, with you in the morning or tea uh, and a lunch that doesn't require heating because all of the coffee and tea facilities and all of our heat, kitchen uh, warming facilities will be closed for the fall semester. They're just very very high touch areas and I think uh, a risky thing for us to uh, continue to use during uh, the health pandemic. Uh, for students as well the microwaves will no longer be available for the fall semester as we address uh, COVID-19. So please bear that in mind and come to work prepared uh, with a, an alternate sort of lunch. 
Uh, anyway, I wish you all well, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone as we ramp things up in the next couple of weeks. And I ask that you uh, stay safe, stay home as much as possible, and please stay healthy.